Keylitho here, and I have another DIY video for you. Today, I'm going to be making an LED strip light work light, I guess. Um, this is going to be under my cabinet, so it's sort of going to be a under cabinet work light. It's going to have some neodymium magnets, either epoxied or taped to the back of the aluminum. I have a couple just metal plates that I can screw underneath my cabinet to hold it up. I have a PWM, which is pulse width modulation dimmer switch, which is pretty nice, that I'm going to be using. And I have these high CRI value LED strip lights. Now these have a CRI value of 80 plus. So basically with the high CRI value, you're getting you know, a faster pulse rate of the light. So as you can see here, this video is actually half of it is lit. I'll turn it off there by these LEDs. So I actually have um, a smaller one that I made earlier today. And this is basically exactly what I'm going to be making, except a little bit larger. So as you can see here, um, it's on here. I just have taped the magnets on here. Um, but yeah, this thing actually gets pretty damn hot. I've had it on for a couple hours. I just have it stuck up to uh, to my handles up here on my cupboard. So this, these lights are going to be going one here, and then I'm going to make another one to put over here. So there will be two of these in total, although I'm just going to show one being made now. So these are also great for video work and stuff like that. Let me turn this other one back on. You can tell what a difference that makes. So, first of all, I have cut these into strips and I will be placing them on here. I have sanded this with 220 grit sandpaper and also um, cleaned it with some isopropyl alcohol just to help the 3M tape stick. Oh, and also, um, this is really good 3M tape that's on the back of these. I'm actually really impressed. I bought some other cheaper LEDs in the past, um, you know, and you get what you pay for. It's definitely worth spending a little bit more money to get something that's a little, you know, higher quality. And these are actually really good. I'm really, really impressed with the quality. So I'm going to go ahead, stick these on here, show you how to solder them up. Get her done. Alright, so I have stuck all these LED strips on here. And one thing you need to make sure of is that you have your negatives next to each other and your positives next to each other. Because when you're running the wire loops, it will be much, much cleaner that way. And then you won't have to pull them and twist them to get it that way. That way you can just run a little tiny loop on the inside and a bigger loop on the outside. So really all I need to do is connect these ends and then I'm going to connect these ends down here. So I'm going to run power in here and then if I want to in the future I can connect these out to another set. So there we go. And I'm just going to be using a chunk of wire that was actually on the other end of this. This is enough wire. I, don't, I only need a little bit so I'm just gonna cut these up really quick and um, we'll zoom in and look at that. Alright so zoomed in a little bit here you can see that I am just using a very very small piece of wire that is literally going to bend in half and loop there. Alright but to make this job easier um, what I'm going to do is just tin the ends of each of these wires just to make it a little easier to work with. So you just dab a little on there. So you can see I've tinned each of the ends of the wires and also what I'm going to go do is go through here and put some solder on the ends of these pads. So a little bit of heat just hot enough until you see it suck in. 
there you go. So now, now they're ready for this. All right, so I'm just gonna hold it down. Put a little heat on it, and then it solders. Same here, put a little heat, it solders. So, there you go. You can see how just touching that makes it easy. Yeah, I know, it's melting the outer wrap a little, but whatever. There. So, you can see how much easier that was, and, you know, straighten your wire out accordingly. Make it look, make it look nice. So, I'm going to do the same to the other side. Okay, so now we have this side and this side hooked up. So you can see that the negatives to the negative, the positives to the positive. So they're basically just hooked up like if you turned it and they were still connected. So that's what you want to do. So then you can just run power either way. It doesn't really matter. Um, so, I'm going to hook up some power leads right here, and then uh, I'll show you where I'm going to mount this thing. You see that you can just turn it on ever so nicely, and bright, bright, bright she goes. And that is really bright. One thing I did not anticipate, though, on the other one, right there I had... I had hot glued this wire down to this, and um, this thing actually got hot enough that it started to soften the hot glue. So hot glue is probably not a good idea. Okay guys, so this LED light right here is going to be basically mounted right up underneath this cabinet. So then I'll be able to turn it on, illuminate my electronics workspace over here in my garage, and uh, It'll be pretty awesome. Still using the uh, rebuilt drill battery. Works great. Check out the link. Alright, so for now, since I don't really want to wait for the epoxy, I have these neodymium magnets. I'm just going to use some uh, scotch tape tape them on there should be all right like I said it's not super permanent solution for now but I will get some epoxy on there so turn it on a lot LED work light all right so it was pretty obvious fairly quickly that those magnets I had on here were really too strong um, yeah so I'm gonna just take these tiny little button ones which are really small they're more than powerful enough so so what I'm going to use here is some uh, G Flex epoxy resin two part so there's the resin and the hardener um, equal parts mix them up and then just uh, dabble do ya And there you go, a little dab will do ya. So this stuff does take a long time to set up. I'm also gonna put some under here, on the bottom side of this wire for support because the hot glue was not enough. All right guys, so thanks for watching this video. I plan on making some other things out in my garage. So hopefully everyone will enjoy watching those. This is a pretty awesome light by the way. Gonna make one more and then I'm uh, I'm gonna make some other things. So thanks for watching.